Good morning, greetings, Sally Teach. You guys, it's Hayden here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. I am in the kitchen. Mom and I just had breakfast. And now she's actually making some empanadas. Also, look how skinny mom is. Again. She's so tiny. She's a skinny <laughs> legend. But she's making empanadas, her famous empanadas that the kids are obsessed with, especially Zachary Taylor Thomas. That's his favorite. So she's making that, but over here. I have a sample of one that she made with our low carb tortillas. And I'm actually gonna pan fry this in a second. And then over here, I have one that I'm gonna test in the air fryer. So the one in the air fryer, I just put a little bit of um, spray oil on it. And then we're gonna try this one out. I'm gonna set it to 400. And then I'm just gonna let it go. I'll just set it for like 10 minutes, or is that too much? Yeah, I'm just gonna do five, and we're just gonna watch it. Because the insides are cooked already, we just want the outside to be crispy, so that's gonna be there. And then this one over here, I'm going to pan fry, so I have to put some oil in here. All right, so I'm heating up the oil. This is just some canola oil, and sorry for the state of the pan. I was using this earlier to make food too, but we're just gonna reuse it. Um, so I'm heating this up, make sure it's nice and hot. But these are zero calorie, or zero carb, 20 calorie street tortillas that we got. And these are so good. And mom's using it kind of like as the shell for the empanada. So this is gonna be a test. Inside it has empanada meat and then just has a little bit of cheese. And then as the binder, we used a little bit of water and cornstarch to make it stick. So we shall see. I'll, sh I'll be back with you guys in a second with this one. Oh wait, hold on. Let's, let's check over here. Cause I know the air fryer is pretty fast. And it's been in here for two minutes. Okay, so far so good. Continue air fryer. And then mom is just chugging away with the empanadas. All right, I don't know if it's hot enough. Let's see. No, not yet. Okay, maybe just another minute or two. All right, I think it's hot enough now. Just get that to a nice temperature all right Let's see Ooh, very exciting okay uh, I'm gonna cook this up and I'll show you guys how it turns out okay I just flipped it this is how it's looking so pretty excited the other one it's still chugging along in the air fryer it was five minutes but I added some more time okay the other side cooked really well so I'm just like frying up the other side a little bit longer and then I think it's gonna be good to eat. All right, you guys, this one like literally looks so perfect and it's super duper cute. So I'm really excited about that. This one's been in here for almost 10 minutes. I don't know, it's not as like golden. I probably should have used regular oil or maybe put more oil, but I think this one's done. So we're just gonna pop this one out also. So there's the difference. The one looks a little sad, a little like not as golden, but I mean, no other one is hot maybe, the maybe the taste will still be there. I don't know. We shall see, but let's show mom. Oh, they're, they're really that. cute. They're super cute. Oh, this one's too crunchy. Yeah. It's yeah. just like the color isn't like, yeah, like this is not... really like pretty and Brown. golden. Yes. All right. We're going to do a taste test. All right, and now I'm going to just cut them and we'll see how they look on the inside. Ooh, okay. Looks good. Ooh. Right? Ah! Oh my gosh, sorry you guys, you almost fell. Okay, and then I'll open up this one. This one is very crunchy. This is actually crunchier than the other one. Mm. Oh, oh, the pull apart on that one was a lot better. Okay, let me try. Let me let me taste this one. <laughs> Hold on. All right, I'm going to taste the air fried one first. No, okay, I am. It's good. The tortilla tastes a little dry. Maybe I put it in for too long. 
But this one like looks so perfect. Mmm. Fried. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so good fried. Not yeah, uh, for you. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Oh, you can dip it in that bad word sauce. Yes. Or even in the garlic. Oh, you guys, this is really good. Mmm. Okay. So, one tortilla, 20 calories. Mm -hmm. That tiny bit of meat, probably around. One tablespoon. <laughs> yeah, like one tablespoon of meat. And a tablespoon of cheese. And a tablespoon of cheese. Probably, what, 60 calories? 50? Maybe. So, for one little empanada, it's less than 100 calories. So. Low carb, low calorie, and it's delicious. So it's like a really great snack, and it fills you up. High protein. High protein. So. Mm. And this is um turkey meat. Mm. It's turkey meat. It's not um beef. Actually, the this one's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing is I did put it in for too long because this was in longer than when I was frying the other one. You guys, look at the empanadas. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Yeah, but they're perfect and ready for the kids for when they come home from school. Also, look how good the table looks. Wow, still looks good. So I got it from far away. Ooh, love it. Okay, mom's making something. Okay, what is it? <gasps> You're making the egg stuff. Oh my gosh, that stuff is so good. Can we try it right now? It's done. <laughs> Do you have to turn off the fire? Yeah. Ooh, I'll turn off the fire. Wow. Oh my gosh, I've always, this is like my favorite. <laughs> oh, and you're adding a sauce? Wow, yum. This is sesame oil. Oh, delicious. All right, you guys, we are going to try it. Mom has her bite. Oh my gosh, this looks like it's gonna be hot. Okay, yeah, are you ready? All right, go for it. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Right, Yum. Guys, I wanted to do a quick little unboxing with you, um, just really quickly. But oh, um, the other day I went to Albertsons and I was super excited because they have a Starbucks inside of there and. They had this cup. I was, it's not the tall one, I wish it was, but it's the smaller one, but it's okay. But I, I'm so obsessed. It's in this like the matte, like mint color, which is so pretty. So I'm really excited. Um, this was $17. Very excited about this guy. I cannot wait to put this into the rotation. I feel like the Starbucks in Albertsons is like one of the only places I ever find any of the cups or like the ones inside of Target. Though like the Target is like more hit and miss, but super excited, found this guy and I was like, oh my gosh, she had like the larger one. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. They literally all sold out. They just put them all out that morning and they were like all gone. It was like the only one left. Um, then I got this other guy right here that I'm pretty excited to open up. Actually, I'm going to open up the bottom because I feel like the bottom is going to be easier to open because the top has a lot of finagling done to it to get the box to be the right size. And this is something that I found on Mercari. And I love to peruse like the online reselling platforms for deals and especially when something is like kind of damaged but you know it's like fixable but that they priced it low like that's always the best but here we go Let's open this together really good packaging okay it's inside of here let me just get this box out of the way okay here it is okay this is like a 10 out of 10 for packaging like, I don't know if the UPS did the USPS store did this for them, but this is fantastic. And you already know that I'm going to be saving this air paper 
because air paper is like so awesome. Oh, <laughs> so this is how like the bag was shown in like online. So it's a Givenchy. There's also like this little, I don't know, beaded charm thing. <laughs> but yeah, like the back has a lot of color loss, especially on the handle portion and just like on the corners and stuff. But I figure this is not going to be like a hard color to like try to color match. Um, but like other like, yeah, otherwise like the bag is in pretty good shape. Like the leather is good. Could probably use like a good cleaning too. So I'll probably make a video on this, but the bag is so cute. Um, online though, they did say that it was missing the crossbody strap. So that's not here, but you can easily like find a cute strap to go with it. Uh, there is one interior zipper pocket and then, um, two pockets on the other side. Here is the little Givenchy tag made in Italy. And then this little serial number thing is underneath. But yeah, it is not in bad shape. It got a little squished in there, but now that like it's out and it's like breathing, it kind of has regained its shape. So that's great. Sometimes the shape of a bag can be like a little intense. But like the handles still stay up, which is also very good. And yeah, so I'm ready to accept the bag then. I'm going to go on Mercari and um, mark it as accept. And I'm pretty excited for this. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Do you guys like the bag? I cannot wait to fix it up. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to see? I don't know if I should like make like a full on video or just like do like a TikTok slash real thing for it. Or maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll make a video. I'll make a video. But yeah. <laughs> that, oh, also I've been filming hauls this whole time. And I, I finally finished. This was the last thing I was going to film for the day. I'm like tuckered out. Sometimes it takes so long to film haul videos. And you're just like talking and talking. And like my mouth is like so dry. And I feel like I'm losing my voice. So that is it for right now. I'll see you guys again in... Um, a little bit. Hey guys, okay, so we are a little while later, but I just took down all of the balloons that were on the stairs. We had like, uh, kind of like a balloon garland that went around the stairs. We had them up since, oh, how long have we had them up? Um, okay, we had them up since Cade's birthday. And Cade's birthday, hold on, let me sit you guys down. I'm just gonna sit on the floor for a second. Um, we had them, yeah, since Kay's birthday, which was in, I think it was like December something. Like, I, I want to say like December 10 or 11 is when we put them up, probably. And then we had them until Eliza's birthday and his birth, well, we had them up. Eliza's birthday, we were going to keep them up until Eliza's birthday, which was on the 10th of January. And it is now like the 25th. And I'm finally taking them down. We've had those balloons up forever. So I finally came around to doing it. It's like literally like 11 o'clock at night. And I'm just like taking down the decorations. We literally still had like the happy birthday sign up on the wall. But I took that down yesterday. And because I was like trying to take pictures of stuff. And then I could see it like in my photo. And it was like kind of annoying. So I had to take it down. And yeah, but now we're getting rid of the garland. It's so pretty though. Like it actually still looks really good. I can't believe it's lasted that long. A lot of the balloons are still pretty large in size and they haven't shrunk down too much. And yeah, so I don't know. It was pretty like, a, it was like a pretty cute idea. I think we should do that again. Um, I feel like the stairs was like a good spot to put them, but we're saying goodbye to the garland. It's been, it's, it's been a good run. Uh, we got two birthdays in, <laughs> Christmas, New Year's. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, that's currently what's happening. We're going to go ahead and uh, pop those babies right now. All right, you guys, I've been working on other things before doing the balloons over there. I'll probably do those in a second, but I just thrifted this the other day and it's like this really cool, like bowl thing. You can actually cook in this, but, um, I already started cleaning it, but I wanted to show you guys, like, the whole bowl was kind of, like, cloudy, kind of like that. And I was cleaning it, and now it's looking a lot shinier. I was using the pink stuff right here that I got from 
Amazon, unfortunately, I am almost out. So hopefully I have enough to do the interior, but I have to do the exterior too. So I'll probably end up having to buy more. I tried the, uh, the Bon Ami, the, this cleanser right here. Um, it doesn't work as well as the pink stuff. So I think I need to get some more of this. Hey guys, it is the next day and I'm in the car waiting for mom. We're going to head over to the grocery. Today's like our grocery shopping day and then we'll also tell you about our weigh-in from this morning. But like, okay, I am like, I'm using like a new skin stuff and like it's supposed to like make your face kind of peel a little bit and I am like peeling. Like luckily, like we can, like we're, <laughs> like... We're wearing masks right now because otherwise like the bottom half of my face like I put like a ton of moisturizer on but um, So you don't really see it, but it has been like peeling But um, yeah, sorry I was like turning on the AC. All right you guys we just got to Walmart with mom She's right here. So we had our weigh-in this morning and I still managed to lose 0.6 pounds even though I was binge eating a lot this week because mom made so many delicious things. Mom said we can't talk about her weight loss today. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> but um, it's a secret. We'll tell you guys next time. But we're at Walmart. We're gonna go do some grocery shopping. Let's go inside. Ooh, we're getting some blueberries. Yum. Some raspberries. Some Looking fresh. We also got some straw babies. That's what Eliza calls them, straw babies. Do we need, we need some lime, tomatoes. We still have avocado, right? Yeah. Oh, no, we need to get avocado then. All right, I got the avocado. We just got some cilantro. Here's the avocado. Do we need anything else? We need any, um, do we need stuff for salad? There's iceberg. Romaine. We're loading up on. Oh, mom, the eggplant. Didn't you want eggplant? Or is that not the right one? Uh, wrong eggplant. Oh, mom, jicama, jicama. Let's see if they have some. You guys, these avocados are so huge. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get some onions, some chicken breast. Yum. Getting some chicken thighs. Ooh yeah, drumsticks, yum. You guys gotta get these, cause these are literally life changing. Zero carbs, it's only 20 calories each. So getting the larger ones as well. These have four grams of carbs. We've got some eggs. Mom's grabbing some milk. And I'm gonna get our creamer. Oh my gosh, they have orange soda. Ah! We just found these um, hamburger buns and then like the white bread. There's only one gram of carb each, like one gram of net carb, so it's awesome. And I think mom's just looking for this bread that we saw last time, but I don't think they have any more, which is sad because it was so good. It was like a Hawaiian keto bread. Ah, stuck. All right, you guys, we just got to the car. Got all our groceries. Before I bring our bags with us, we got to bag everything over here. We are inside the car now. Um, are we going to go anywhere else? I think we have to go home already. Yeah, because you have your doctor's appointment. Because I have a doctor's appointment. I'll just go tomorrow for the... To Costco. Or I can just give you my... I can just deposit the check. Oh, that's right. I'll just go like later on today or tomorrow. No, I'm tomorrow. bringing you to the doctor. Yes. Remember? So I'll bring you tomorrow. Well, you can... On our... No, because... Our way back, we have to eat. We still have to cook. So. The doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just have to apply some shots. Okay. 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 Okay.
guys. My lips are gonna fall off. I'm going to um, really some of my skinny pop popcorn. My skinny pop popcorn. There we go. I feel like when I wear a mask, it just like sucks out all of my moisture from my face. And I just feel so super dry. Wait, where are we going home now? Yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys at the house. Hey guys, okay, so it is a little while later. I am sitting inside the car. Mom just went in for her doctor's appointment and we were at home. I took down the groceries, put everything away. Mom and I had a quick, like, um, I guess it wasn't a late lunch because it was like around lunchtime when we got home. So it was around lunchtime when we got home and then she was getting stuff ready for dinner and I was like doing stuff around the house and... Now we're here, a few hours later, so it's just a routine checkup, um, and so mom's just, she's not like sick or anything, just a um, regular checkup, and because mom has a, um, I think I've told you guys before, but she um, has, uh, she's hypothyroid, so they always like have to like check her and do all that stuff. Um, I think she might need to get blood work done too, just to like make sure that all her medical, like her, her levels are the same, but they usually are because she's been on medication for a really long time. And, um, I don't think they ever really, like they haven't adjusted it in a while. So, um, I think she's like equilibrated, so she's pretty good, but I'm sitting inside the car now. Uh, and chatting with you guys because my phone has really bad reception in this area. Like, I don't know what it is. Um, so I'm just gonna update you guys quickly on what is up. But today, I believe is Wednesday. Uh, there's a live sale Friday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I don't know when this vlog is gonna go up. Um, but last night I finished putting away all of Eliza's birthday decorations so the balloons and stuff are finally out and I'm excited about it because mom and I were like she was like trying to have like a little photo shoot with like um my aunt gave her like a bunch of lemons and she was like oh my gosh there's so many lemons and she gave us lemons also the week before and mom was like I'm gonna make like a bunch of lemon things. So she made lemon loaves, and then we also made one for my aunt. So auntie, if you're watching, I hope you guys like the lemon loaves. They're so yummy. Um, I had like a little bit because I'm I'm on a diet, so I can't like eat too much. And today, oh my gosh, this past okay, so this past week I have been really bad because mom was making such delicious food, and like I think for like three nights in a row, like I ate so much like it was so bad so at today's weigh-in i was so surprised that i actually still lost 0.6 pounds so like thank goodness <laughs> i'm like um like i think i one other time at a weigh-in during our um, this whole weight loss thing the mom and i've been doing a little her health journey if you will i think there was also, there's only one other time that Ali lost around 0.6. I think it was like either 0.4 or 0.6 pounds. I don't remember, but it's crazy. And, uh, I, ha I, I have almost lost 50. I thought I lost 50 pounds already. I'm almost there. I think like, I'm just like a few pounds away. Uh, I think I calculated it on my phone, but now I can't, I don't know where I put my phone. Where did I put it? It's right here. I was like, mom and I were calculating earlier how much weight we lost. Oh, hold on. Mom texted me. I didn't even notice. What did she say? Oh, she sent me <laughs> uh, outdoor window box planters. Oh, these are so cute. <gasps> She's been looking for something like this for, uh, she has like a, like a balcony in her room and she wanted like planters like this. Oh my gosh, I'm going to tell her to get them. Oh my gosh, you have <laughs> to get <laughs> She has, um, like if you have like a Pottery Barn card uh, and you accumulate points and stuff through Pottery Barn, you get like, um like reward certificates and she has a bunch so she can use that on these you need like four to five maybe i love that she's like in the waiting room and like we're literally texting each other about um <laughs> about this what else were we thinking we were talking about something else that we wanted to look for um at oh yeah we want to find um we want to, like, redo our bathroom downstairs, like, the powder room. And, um, 
like in the powder room, it lit it only has like a pedestal sink and then like the toilet and like that's and then the mirror and that's pretty much it. And the only thing we redid when we moved into the house for that powder room was we redid the floors because we were like, ah, whatever, like we'll we'll do that till later. And I don't know what's wrong with like the sink in there, but like the one knob, like the cold water knob, is like really hard to. Um, like, it used to kind of, like, leak, and then, like, we tightened it, but now it's, like, so tight that, like, it's really hard to pull the little thing for the water to come out, so you just, like, use the hot water one, and, um, use that, but then, like, if the water's, like, really hot, then it's, like, pretty warm. Anyway, uh, and then we had Antonio come over to the house the other day. Oh, hold on, my camera's dying. Okay, I know how you guys aren't falling now because the back of the tripod is like underneath like this little overhang for the car. Anyway, um, I told you guys that I would leave, but I'm back because I was I decided that I was going to do a little what's in my bag because I haven't done these in like a while. And I don't think I've ever done a what's in my bag for this bag. So I don't really have too much. <laughs> so I'll just do this really briefly and really quickly. But I have my giant Tic Tacs. I mean, it's, like, the size of the bag is, like, fantastic, though. I love, I love Tic Tacs the best. I have my Chanel card case wallet. Um, I got this one. I forgot where I bought it. It was either Depop or Mercari, I think, or one of those two. And it was originally yellow, but was dyed black. And it was dyed black by the person who bought it. Or who sold it. And actually, I think the person that I bought it from was one of you guys. It was like a subscriber. I think. And if you're watching this, thank you. I, I love the wallet. I literally use it all the time. And you did a pretty good job on it. Like, I don't, I don't think I ever really had to touch up anything. I think I do have to touch up um, some of the string now because it's become yellow. Like, the color has come off. But other than that, like, I mean... It's held up really, really well. It looks fantastic. Like, I love this wallet. I always go back to it. It's such a great card case. I just love a good card case. Though, I think this year I want to get, like, a larger wallet. Like, one that I can, like, put my phone in. I don't know why I want to put my phone in my wallet, but I think it's just, like, so cool. I don't know, like... It's just, like, a chic thing, is that? I don't know. Um, I also have a bunch of lens wipes inside of here lens wipes of course I have a bunch of receipts uh, have my aquifer I cannot live without this and also I just found out that they sell aquifer um, like this aquifer chapstick like this that's in this little tube they sell one that has SPF in it and I was like oh my gosh how do I not have chapstick with SPF I need it I need I need it for my lips you need your, your lips need SPF especially like when you're outside so I have that in there I also have a mask and then this is my dead battery that was in there so normally it's just like my extra battery for my camera then I have the Tesla key I love these keys because they look like little cars they're really fun I really want to get the um, a little string thing to attach to it though, because I hate that it doesn't have like a string. I don't know that it's just like it just looks like a toy car. <laughs> then I have the best eye drops ever. If you guys have not tried Lumify eye drops, they're the best. They work for hours, and they don't like burn. You know, like sometimes like eye drops burn your eyes. These do not burn, and they work really well, and they last for hours, and it makes your eyes so bright, and I don't know. Like, I always um, get irritated eyes all the time because my eyes are so sensitive and, like, any allergens, crazy. And the last thing... Oh, mom's here! AirPods. And then that's it. Okay, mom's here. We're driving home. Adios. See you guys later. All right, you guys. Here is our Shabu Shabu. We have all sorts of mushrooms, we have bok choy, we have cabbage, we have um, some... Is that wagyu? Is that what that is? This the, like, is the a wagyu, wagyu beef. beef things. Beef things. So delicious. From, Can't wait to eat. From is the Korean. Oh uh, yeah, we got this from Beach Mart. Yum. So we're waiting for Dad to get home, this but the food is already ready and we are very excited. 
Hey guys, it is the next day and it's already like the afternoon and we actually got the kids some McDonald's because Zach and Eliza were half day and then Cade gets out like an hour earlier than them like on regular days. So like after they picked up Cade, they went to McDonald's, got that. I did partake in like 10 french fries. But I'm trying to be strong because french fries are literally one of my favorite things. Uh, but I just installed the little attachment here for the ice maker. And one of you guys asked, or a couple of you guys asked, asked how we like the ice maker. This thing is amazing. It's the best. We always run out of ice from the regular ice maker and it can't like keep up when everyone's getting ice all the time. And everyone loves ice in their drinks. So, um, my parents got this, like, for Christmas. <laughs> like, they said it was my Christmas gift, but, like, it's for everyone. We, that's, like, we like to get things for everyone, like, that we get for each other. It's super crazy, but, um, the ice maker is the best. The only thing is, we had to refill it all the time. Like, sometimes we had to refill it, like, twice a day, because it just has, like, this little reservoir thing in the back, like, right there. So, I didn't know that we could get this. Like, I, th I was like, oh man, like, um, we could have gotten the one that has the extra, like, the water dispenser thing. And I didn't know that we could order it separate. But then I found out that we were ordering, um, oh, I actually have to put that on. There's, like, a little thing where we got, like, the little thing that you could put on the side. And in the frequently bought together section on Amazon, you can actually get this thing to attach. So I got it. It's actually really easy to install. It just like connects right there in the back. And yeah, so it's perfect. We This holds almost one of those, I think. And it's really easy to put the water in. It's actually easier to put the water in here than it is in here because this one just like take the whole thing out and like it kind of drips everywhere. So that is pretty exciting. So there's John. Oh. Hi John. This is the side tank thing. So I think this was $70. I still think it's cheaper if you get the whole thing as like a bundle. I think it's a little bit cheaper, but yeah. I'm excited though that we were able to still get the side tank because well, I mean I just installed it and I already love it so much. Plus it looks pretty good still, right? Okay, anyway, right now, what I'm trying to do, now that everyone is gone from downstairs, everyone's upstairs, the kids already finished their homework, they ate, and everything is good to go, and I just, like, have been cleaning up around the house, and now... Oh, John, don't forget to install this! We're gonna put this inside the bathroom. But, I am making, like, a, creating an image for Instagram, for Valentine's Day, for, uh, in collaboration, I guess? I don't know if it's really a collaboration with, with good, OC Goodwill. Anyway, um, so I'm using like all thrifted things. And uh, the, I thrifted the table. The only thing that wasn't thrifted was this contact paper that I have on here. But I've already, I already had it because I was using it for, uh, I use it for another project. So the kids table used to be here, that little square table. And it was low and they had like the white chairs. And it had like this wood top and then in between the pieces of wood, there were like planks. There were like little grooves and like dirt and stuff like, like anything spilled would always get stuck inside and it was hard to clean. So I covered it with contact paper and I've actually had this contact paper for probably the past four years. And I was like looking and waiting for another project to do it on. And I always knew I was going to replace the kids table with something else. And this was always my vision. And then when I found this round table at the Goodwill, I had to get it and then I was able to cover it with the contact paper and you guys will see that video as well for how I was able to do the round corners but I think it looks so good because I can look at it like honestly if you weren't like actually touching it sometimes even when like if you don't know it's kind of like it feels kind of real because it's like kind of cold when you first touch it like regular marble but the thing that makes it look really good is that I brought it over and around and under and you can see like the striations of like the foam marble and it's just, and it just looks really cool and i love these chairs i thrifted these chairs too but i had the chairs for probably like four years because i thrifted them a while ago and we just bring them out for um like if we have parties and need extra seating but now the 
perfect with this little table. The sound that you hear is John installing the thing. I was helping him figure out where we wanted to put it. Uh, I think we're just gonna put it like, cause like we want like a paper towel thing for like washing hands cause it's like, I don't know, cleaner and like, you know, germs and all that stuff right now, but yeah. Anyway, uh, so I'm currently trying to figure out what place settings I want. And I think I want to do this. Like I thrifted these West, I think this is a oh, Williams. Yeah, this is the Williams Sonoma Corporation. Like all of the, I think they all sold these plates. And I also have the matching mugs, but I don't want to do the mugs because they're not like, I don't know, they're not like as romantical, I guess. And I also did thrift this candle very recently as well. It was only $2.99 from West Elm. I haven't cleaned it yet. And I just like brought it home. And there's like some hair in it. But I don't know if I want to use it because I think I want to use my crystal ones. I think like that's going to be really pretty. So I think I'll do that. I really like this little setting. I'm going to like practice first. I'm actually going to do the setting outside, but it's really sunny and intense right now so that's why like everything's closed because the sun is so intense right now that's why the lighting in the house is like kind of crazy looking but i'm going to practice setting up the table i'm actually going to make a formal video i think on this as well and that'll be up like by itself so um i'm just gonna show you like some behind the scenes here and then once i figure everything out i'm gonna film like a full video for this and I'll have that linked later on. I don't know when, I think it'll probably go up the same day that the image goes up, I think, which is sometime in the, fr it's either gonna be the second week, I think maybe of February. So I'll let you guys know. Okay, yeah, that's the update for now. So right now I'm trying to decide if I want to use, I have these um, gold with crystal napkin holders. I think I actually might use these, they're like really glam. And I got these, they were $24.99 for the set, but they're so pretty, they're kind of like, they're coated in 24 karat gold and they have Swarovski crystal <laughs> things on them, they're like so weird. And these, are just um, marble, but I think they kind of, no, I think I'm gonna do these. These are really nice and I have some napkins as well. So I'm gonna do that. I think I figured it out, but I'm not gonna show you guys because it's gonna be a separate video. Right now, I gotta go outside and um, film this or take photos already because literally the sun is going down. So let's do this. All right, you guys, I just got everything inside. My back is broken because that, <laughs> that table is so heavy. And I was like carrying it by myself. Like it wasn't so bad because I was using the roller um, to bring it like, the further distances but I was just carrying it up like the steps like hurt my back um but we're all good now I am just putting away the stuff that I used and hopefully I got a good photo because I literally took five million I also tried to film some sort of like TikTok thing real thing but I'm so bad with those anyway that I probably didn't even do it right <laughs> but we'll see I don't know um, but I don't know, I think that some of the, the table was cute, like in real life. Hopefully the photos are cute when I go back to look at them. Um, but I also did film like a video, just like setting it up. 
and all that goodness so you guys can see that um, as well but right now I'm gonna clean up because we're about to have dinner we're literally gonna have shabu shabu again because mom still has leftover from yesterday and it, it is so crazy how dark my arms are compared to like my face like, I don't know what to do because the stuff I use for my face, it like just brightens it like um, just by using it and like I use like exfoliators and stuff and like my arms. I'm like always wearing short sleeves, so. I'll tell my friends. All right, everyone, we are now gonna be announcing the giveaway winner, so say hi. You guys are now in the vlog, so say greetings and salutations to everyone watching, but I have my random comment picker right here. I'm gonna be putting in Oh, that is not it. That is Okay, who are we pulling for tonight? Who do I think will win? I like to like <gasps> Okay, you guess. guess. Who do you think you who do you think? I win? always like to guess who's gonna win. Um I'm gonna go to the thingy really fast. Hold on. I'm gonna mm-hmm. I'm gonna guess who's gonna win right now. Alright. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna learn more. I just wanna guess who's gonna win. There are forty three comments tonight, friends. 43 comments. I believe the winner is going to be Mama Sheila. I'm going to say it's going to be Lolo. Okay. Mama Sheila. Well, you're feeling Mama Sheila? All right. We're going to announce the winner mm -hmm. in three, two, one. Mm -hmm. fur, fur, fur. It's Mila. Mila <gasps> that was here? what I was going to say. <laughs> First, I swear, I scrolled to the bottom. I saw Mila said hello. Dang it. I was going to sound smart. Oh, man. Mila, are you, Mila are you in here? Peter Pan in it to win. <laughs> Don. Mila, are you in here? Oh, no. I don't even think. Did I? Don't I know if did she's she, here. Was, she, was she in the live tonight? I don't think I saw her. I don't think so. Her comment just said. Yeah, it's just like a random comment. All right. We're going to have to go on to the next person then. Yeah. We're we going to pick another winner. Let's go. In <laughs> Chantal. <laughs> Poor Chantal. I hope Chantal wins now. Alright. In three, two, one. Oh, it's Mama Miss Lang. You're so close. Oh, one of the mamas. Mama Miss Lang. I know you're in here, so congratulations on winning tonight's giveaway. Yes. You are the winner. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you to be. Yes. She is falling Thanks asleep. For me. It's been a long Thanks day. Thanks for buying Squishmallows. <laughs> Thanks for all the things. Um, 